Hi, my name is Dr. Pecoraro. I'm a chiropractor in Westfield, New Jersey. Today I wanted to tell you a little bit about the difference between alcohol and drugs. One difference between alcohol and drugs I was reminded of by a friend of mine, Dr. Tom D'Elia, a chiropractor in Belleville, New Jersey. Very intelligent man. Alcohol fits into the normal metabolism of the body. Now what does that mean to you, maybe a person who doesn't know anything about metabolism, anything about bodies, anything about chemistry? Well, I'm going to give you an example. Let's say each cell in your body, everything that makes up your body, is a number. And that every food is also a number, but they're all different numbers. Each cell is a different number in your body. Each food is a different number. So let's say you take an orange, and maybe the number for the orange is 10. I'm, I'm making up these. This is, this is made up. This is an analogy. So you take in this orange that's a 10. The metabolism of your body will take this number 10 and break it up into smaller numbers. 1s, 2s, 3s, 4s, 5s, 6s, etc. And then it will put them back together again so that there are other numbers. So you're taking this orange and that's a 10. Your metabolism is breaking that 10 down into numbers and it's putting it back together again so now it's not an orange anymore, it's you. Or it's the energy that makes you do what you're doing. So this is the normal metabolism of the body. Alcohol fits into this. Alcohol is a sugar and it's just like taking another number and it gets into your body. Now, it may throw the numbers off a little bit, but it's still a number. Drugs don't do this. Drugs are like taking letters and putting them in your body. And when they get in there, the ones and the twos and the threes aren't going to add up with these letters. And so it can cause all kinds of havoc in your body. So this is one difference between drugs and alcohol. Another difference between drugs and alcohol, I heard a man say, a very intelligent man, on television many years ago. He was uh, the head of something, I forget. But anyway, this fellow said that only 10% of the people who drink alcohol get addicted to it, whereas 90% of the people who take drugs get addicted to them. So that's a pretty big difference, 90% addiction to drugs, 10% addiction to alcohol. Those are pretty big odds and I don't know if you want to take the chance or not. So anyway, I don't want you to think that I'm saying alcohol is good for you because I'm not. But there is a difference between drugs and alcohol and uh, I hope you can understand a little bit better now. Thank you and I'll see you again in another time. Bye.